no sweatshops. I seen it and immediately I was just like, oh my God, this is the car coat of my dreams. Look at how sturdy this cotton is. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra. <laughs> and today I'm gonna be coming at you guys with new pickups. Um, I am so sorry, Mallory girl. I know that this video was supposed to be my knitwear video, but I have to do something today and I'm not gonna get a chance to go out to the stores. So stay tuned for the next video because the next video I'm gonna be going out to these stores, y'all, and trying on the knitwear pieces so we can be seeing what we're gonna be busting this fall and winter. I thought this was gonna be a thrift haul, but then your girl did a little bit more shopping outside of thrifting that I'm gonna show you guys. Also, some pieces were sent to me. with my first jogging suit ever I want to say since I was a kid like I have yet to have like a piece that actually came you know coordinating and it's funny because I've been wanting a, a jogging suit so when Gregory who is actually the founder of this brand reached out to me Urban Creations that's the name of this brand here when he reached out to me I was like oh my gosh like yes I am so down um, and when I got it, I was just blown away by the quality. I'm just always so blown away how like these small brands are just able to just produce such like high quality garments. And it's funny because I, y'all know me, I don't typically like things that have writing on it. But then when I got it and I seen what it says, I can support this. I don't mind this illustration on the front of it. Because um, if you read what it says, it says custom milled organic cotton windmill powered, wrap certified, and no sweatshops. It makes the wearer feel good about wearing it. Definitely rock with a small brand that's making quality-ish, okay? I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is of organic cotton. I think it's like 95% organic cotton. I actually wore it on my Instagram um, a couple of days ago with my Rick Owen tractor boots, and I thought it was a, such a vibe. It definitely added an avant-garde touch to this, you know, very classic sweatsuit. Next, I'm gonna be showing you a piece that I got from the thrift thrift store, My Unique in the Bronx. This go around, I ended up picking up this brown button up here. It's in the 41 and a half neck, which I think is like an extra small in terms of men's. Do not forget to check the men's section. Cause me, myself, even when I am shopping online, like I always forget to go to the men's section because I, I love menswear. I think menswear is just so chic on women, especially. Yeah, I thought that this brown button up would be, would be really nice for fall. I can pair it with, you know, a trouser, jeans, sneakers, heels, whatever. But yeah, I like the just the one pocket here that this one has. The fabric is very lightweight. Next little piece that I picked up was this Yves Saint Laurent jacket, y'all. I seen it and immediately I was just like, oh my God, this is the car coat of my dreams. And in case you didn't know, the term car coat derived in the early 1900s. And it basically was a coat that would protect you from the outdoors because you know, the cars during that time didn't, you know, they were pretty open. So yeah, car coat. Um, I used to work at Burberry and I used to sell this style coat all the time to the most chicest, petite women and men. When I worked there, I really wanted a trench coat, but I never ended up buying one for myself because they all was just super short in the arms. So when I seen this one, I was like, oh my gosh. First off, it's by Yves Saint Laurent and I've never tried their garments before. Yeah, no, I've never tried their garments before. I don't own anything from this brand, so I'm like, let me try this one on because this car coat may work for me. It may be long enough in the arms. Um, and this one is actually a men's jacket. I believe it's a men's 46, I think. But yeah, I thought that this one was very classic. It's again, just your very standard classic car coat. I tried it on and I was like, okay, it's a little bit big on me. And I thought that it would be water resistant actually, but it's not water resistant, but that's okay. I still feel like it's a nice jacket for the spring and fall, you know, baggy enough that I can layer, you know, a sweater or something like that underneath. And yeah, this is what it looks like on me, you guys. I have it styled here with that brown, same brown button up and like a little trouser. This is actually a look that I would most definitely wear with this jacket. But then it's so funny because I came home kind of trying to hide it from kind of y'all because I be shopping, okay, I be shopping. 
But then I pulled it out and I'm like, wait a minute, kind of try this coat on. And kind of tried it on and I was just like, okay, this is your coat and I'll just wear it from time to time because it fits Connor perfectly. Perfect in the shoulder, perfect in the arms, perfect in the length. And I thought it was such a look too with like his raw um, raw denim by Warehouse um, and just a pair, classic pair of you know sneakers. And again, I've never tried Yves Saint Laurent pieces before, but I think that this is a very quality garment. And I think that it might even be vintage only because looking at the details of the jacket, typically I feel like it would probably say YSL on the buttons or something like that if it was like modern day. Um, but the only brand that you see is on the inside, which y'all already know. If this, the YSL, okay, if it was on the outside of the jacket anywhere, I would have never even thought about looking at it, tried it on. Another reason too why I am not a fan of wearing branded, anything branded on the front of my body or anything like that is because for one, it, it doesn't make it work in your wardrobe as much, much as it could if it wasn't branded because the fact that this YSL on the inside, I can wear with my, you know, my Rick Owens pieces or my Margiela pieces because neither of them say the brand. Never feel like, you know, just because it's designer, you can just wear designer, designer, designer because you can look real tacky real quick when you, when you do it like that. Uh, just my opinion. Last but not least, I picked up a R Legacy button up from The Real Real. Y'all, I am obsessed with R Legacy, okay? I, I literally want majority of my wardrobe to be R Legacy, Rick Owens, and Margiela at this point because our legacy, just like Rick Owens, just like Margiela, the materials, the fabrics that they use are exceptional. Um, for instance, this button up is 100% cotton, y'all. And I hope y'all can see this on camera, but look at how sturdy this cotton is. And I feel like to the look, to the eye, it looks like it may be of wool, but it's actually 100% cotton. And I feel like this piece is definitely gonna be a staple for me this fall. Um, if you're looking for like a really classic button up or really classic silhouettes in general, I would definitely say go check out our legacy. Um, this is the third piece that I own from them now and I, I'm just blown away by the quality of their fabrics every time and the silhouettes, they just really work. And I'm gonna link up a video actually in the cards where I talk about a little bit more about their sizing because their sizing is kind of weird, not gonna lie. Uh, but this piece is actually a men's piece. This is a men's 46, which is why it's a little bit long on me. And it's a lot of ways that you can style a piece like this too. I would definitely say invest in a, you know, just a really nice, sturdy button up because it can act as a shirt, but it also can act as a jacket. Um, especially if you get a little bit oversized, you can layer, you know, maybe with a cashmere sweater, a lightweight cashmere sweater, or, you know, just on its own. But yes, I, I freaking love this for me. But then again, kind of try it on. And I'm just like, what the freaking heck? Like it, it fits Connor again, perfectly. Um, this is a size 46. And I would say Connor is typically around 46, 48. So maybe they're true size for men, I guess. But, and again, he just paired it with his just raw denim. And I just thought that because the shirt is a quality, you know, fabric in his jeans, you see the texture and the sluffiness of the cotton of his jeans. It just really works. And you can never go wrong with just pairing just really good fabrics with each other, I feel like. Um, it doesn't have to say, again, Gucci or Balenciaga on it. Like, just let the quality of your garments just speak for themselves, I feel like. I'm telling y'all, I'd have been around some really chic, rich people, okay? And I have picked up some things along the way, along the years, okay? Because I have been doing what I've been doing for years. Also, you guys, with the fabric that they use, I don't know what type of technique they did with this tartan fabric, but as you guys can see, it has like this faded look to it, um, which is just, oh my God, it just looks like it was just customized or something like that. But I'm just super happy to have this piece in, some, in my wardrobe. Um, I just know that it's a piece that I will have for years and years and years and years. All right, y'all, so that actually sums up this video. That is all that I got this go around. Again, be sure to click that subscribe button down below because you don't want to miss my next little venture around New York. I'm going to be going to different stores and trying on their different knitwear options. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.